more people will die in traffic accidents than from corona. But we haven't forcibly garaged every car in the country, have we? We don't make drivers drive 100 yards apart or ban old people from driving, do we? Mummy's 86 and she was still driving until she hit that bus shelter. We're desperately, desperately short of cat food. We've only got 35 tins. Elise, we don't have a cat! I mean, I've lived on my own for years, so the whole self-isolation thing is, you know, is, is not a problem for me. Um, in any case, you know, I've got lots of friends in the house. Um, Mr. Salt, Mrs. Pepper, Dr. Olive Oil, and uh, Monsignor Washing Up Bottle. Josh! Just let me uh, have a jam with him this afternoon, which was which was fantastic. Um, you know, uh, he's never done that before, and um, uh, we had uh, we had a bit of a session. Him him on guitar, me on keyboards. Um, you know, it was it was uh, it was only about five minutes or so, but you know, it was a real blast. Caroline, they want me to do Newsnight tonight. Explain the government policy on the post-Corona exit strategy. <laughs> Emily Maitlis is interviewing me here on Skype. This is my big chance. Shit. We, we, we haven't got any books. I'm hoping we can do a bit more tomorrow, actually. I've, I've, I've left him a few of my prog albums to, um, to listen to, because I think he could stretch himself a little bit, you know, explore some new territory. This is the age, 12, 13, where you can really sort of start to set their direction in life. I've given him uh, Camel, Crimson, some early Genesis, a uh, bit of Van de Graaff generator and so on. Hello, Nigel. Uh, look, I'm on Newsnight tonight. Can we borrow your books? Just for background, uh, make it look like I'm widely read, you know, deep thinker. Frankly, four jigsaw puzzles and a DVD of Mamma Mia isn't going to cut the mustard. Have you got any philosophy books or classics? Some Dickens, perhaps? And a Bible? Or perhaps a copy of the Quran? Or do you think that's overdoing it? Oh, God, this is complicated. I, I, I'm just going to need about a, a, a square metre's worth. I'm cooking up quite an interesting idea for an album. Ulysses and the Cyclops. It's a concept album and obviously we're going to be, you know, exploring some different time signatures and some key changes and so on that I think will really stretch him. Josh, are you off WhatsApp yet? Absolutely pathetic selection of books from Nigel. Four Robert Ludlums, his daughter's Harry Potter's, a pile of old horse and hounds and Fifty Shades of... No, oh, thank you. Just see the headlines. Ah! Hello, Roger. Uh, does your father still own that second-hand bookshop? Because if he does, I'm going to need about 50. Well, I know it's gone nine, but... <sighs> Look, I'm on Newsnight in an hour and a bit. So if you could just meet me outside the shop. <sighs> well, exactly how bad is this cough? No, I just mean that if he's been lying around for that long, perhaps it's good for him to get out. You know, get some fresh air outside the shop. I think maybe he found Ulysses and the Cyclops a bit off-putting. I'm, I'm guessing he thought it was a bit simplistic, so I've expanded it to Ulysses and the Cyclops with Achilles and Agamemnon too, which feels a lot more ambitious, which hopefully will bring him on board. Caroline, where's that yucca? I need the yucca! Oh, forget it. I'm on. I'm on. It's time. Oh, I'll just make it into a close-up. Uh, uh, good evening, Emily. I'm delighted to be on tonight. I love the pasta, obviously, I'm Italian. But come on, people, let's mix them up a bit with the, the fish and the chips, the, the toad in the hole, the pigs in the bloody blankets. <laughs> Variety, even the spice of the life, in my opinion, if you ask me, like. I'll tell you two straight, no bullshits. I'm a straight up and down guy. Clean the bloody east with me. <laughs> so come on, people, mix them up a bit. Where's my imagination during this lockdown? It's up there, zooming through the clouds, like a bird. Thank you for seeing me. It's good to see a Member of Parliament still running her constituency surgery, even if it is remotely. I have a delicate situation. I very much need to see a doctor. My athlete's foot is extremely itchy. But the receptionist at my GP keeps telling me that I shouldn't be bothering the doctor now because he has bigger fish to fry. Unbelievable. Let me introduce to you Zombie Insurance Conference, a chilling metaphor for our times, set at the British Insurance Association annual conference in Great Yarmouth. This is what worries me. They're starting to prioritise patients. 
Soon they'll be saying that earwax build-up isn't important enough. I don't like to use the word discrimination, but... There, I've said it now. It appalls and sickens me that the NHS that I fund with my hard-earned earnings cannot find time for my itchy feet. Appalling. Sickening. One of the key speakers, uh, Marcus Grindley, is infected just before his presentation on multi-cover car and home insurance. And as he launches into his PowerPoint display, he suddenly starts biting the delegates in the front row, who are mainly from Norwich Union. In the past, they prescribed some antifungal cream, which does relieve some of the itching, but I keep saying to them, that is a short-term fix. I need to meet my doctor, sit down with him in his office and properly plan my feet strategy. Develop a detailed, in-depth programme that can fully resolve the issue. And as my MP, perhaps you could be at that meeting. Conference organiser Tim Grayson should be in a panic because he stands to lose a fortune if the conference has to be cancelled. But luckily, Tim had taken out insurance on the conference itself. So what could have been a costly loss of earnings doesn't ensue because he is covered. Until I get satisfaction on this matter, I won't be out there clapping for them and I won't be voting for you. In an exciting flashback, we see Tim with his insurance broker, Philip Northchurch from Admiral. I want to take out zombie insurance, says Tim Grayson. Make it happen. Oh, you must be crackers, replies Philip Northchurch. Are you sure you've not been bitten by a zombie yourself? You'll never get insurance on a zombie apocalypse in this town. He's talking about Cardiff, where Admiral have their head office. Is there someone more senior I can speak to about my athlete's foot? No, I don't mean the health secretary. Don't be sarcastic. I'm prepared to pay big bucks for my premium, says Tim Grayson, with steel in his eyes, in instalments. Very well, interjects Philip Northchurch. Sign here and here and here. I would like to report um, a crime that took place this afternoon in Higginson Park um, and it was there that I noticed uh, two young women sunbathing in bikinis uh, no more than a few inches apart because it's seven centimeters metric and thus flagrantly disobeying social distancing regulations it was then that I crept up and photographed them. Hello Gustav. Um, I am so sorry about last time. Um, it, it was wrong of me to ask you to risk your life to do my hair and I can only... Th oh, hello. Who are you? His wife. I didn't know you were married. So he's doing your hair then? One of the girls shouted at me uh, using obscene language. Uh, Belen or something, in the vicinity of uh, miners and then proceeded to throw a hardback book uh, striking me just above here on the, on the eyebrow. I think it was Jamie Oliver's 15-minute meals. How lucky you are to be married to a hairdresser. So as I reeled from the blow, the other one leapt up and squirted Amber Soler in my eyes. Try not to look so smug with you graduating layers in your luminous highlights. Temporarily blinded, I was then subjected to what can only be described really as a savage attack, with one of them repeatedly hitting me with a shoulder bag uh, before the indignity of the other one debagging me. I'm, I'm sorry, Gustav. It's just that um, every morning I wake up and I look in the mirror at this my eyes smarting from the coconut oil my trousers and underpants round my ankles much to the amusement of june greaves 17 the meadows o peep with whom i have in fact had a very long running protracted uh, dispute concerning her water garden feature and her refusal to install a smart water meter I staggered unwittingly into a clump of stingy nettles. <laughs> oh, 
of you need proof of their criminality, may I direct you to the Facebook page of one Daisy Sims 27, The Meadows, Orpington, O.P. Where she's posted pictures of me in my semi-naked state. It's had over 7,000 likes. Josh, you're grounded. Yes, I know we're all grounded. I know the whole world is grounded, but honestly, it's rock and roll. <laughs>